Well, good morning, everybody. What a wonderful turnout. Lovely to see you all. I think it was just over a year ago when Joe and Lorna asked me to go and have a cup of tea with them. They had an idea. I thought it was brilliant, and they've done it in a stylish, creative, wonderful way. We need everything we can get to promote fragrance and its values and its allure. So I'm not going to say any more. I'm going to hand over to Joe. These are really fast-moving times. And actually, we think that this is the most exciting time to be in the perfume world. But we wanted to add a human dimension to what we do. So the Perfume Society brings the web alive um, through sampling and events. First of all, our discovery boxes. Each of the fragrances in the box is accompanied by smelling notes, like a wine society might do. They engage with it at a much deeper level than, than most sampling does. Um, they're all entitled to attend a How to Improve Your Sense of Smell workshop around the country, which are improving incredibly popular. Hugely popular with our subscribers is their online downloadable magazine, The Scented Letter, which is almost the only publication in the whole world exclusively devoted to perfume. And then there's Fred. Um, he works quite simply. You input a fragrance that you already love. Fred makes six su suggestions and tells you where you can try them and the emotional words and the ingredients bring the fragrance alive for the perfume lover. Naturals form an integral part of fine perfumery. You know they give as an ingredient in a perfume in combination with synthetics, they give quality, they give depth and richness, they are the noble ingredients but they are under threat. We need to invest in the long term in communities which are growing our crops and with the farmers so that we build sustainable supply chains that provide strong and stable incomes for people. And the second threat, and it is ironic given the consumer perception that natural is good, comes from regulatory pressures. The industry has to work together here. And I think the industry has been working much better together in recent years, but we have to work together with lawmakers in a constructive way and in other groups to ensure that we have, firstly, the right approach to risk assessment, and secondly, to promote an understanding amongst lawmakers and other groups of the rich heritage and the crucial role they play in our industry. We are creating an airflow. We are going over the perfume and take the, the scent molecules with us and, and give it to the car. So it's, it's very light. It's not heavy. We have three intensities you can choose. If you think also, um, if you are drive in a car and have this frequent opportunity, you are, you, you are moving, the view is, uh, is constantly changing, you can hear music, you have air conditioning, you have the frequency, um, and you he hear the engine. So this is a, um, a sensation you have in uh, no other place. It's just in the car. So we, that, that's what we wanted to create. We also did uh, a kind of personal home version. It was a really good a, a wish for me because it's so nice these, to have these fragrances also at home, these, the, the home fragrance and the car fragrance and the, the recognition when, when you are in the car and feeling good and feeling safe like in your home. We really delve deeply into this idea of customer segmentation and we're seeing shifts now in everyone's sense of identity that means old ways of categorising consumers are getting quite, are quite outdated. So data analytics, advanced digital technology and changing consumer expectations will fuel the next stage of personalisation for offline and online retail. Consumers now are wanting to shop wherever they are. So we really need to be ready for that. All retailers need to be ready for that. What underpins all of these things is the experience economy. By really experimenting creatively with retail theatre and making the in-store fulfilling and magical, consumer loyalty will be created that will ultimately both benefit your brand but also the bottom line. We learn the colours in schools but we don't learn the smells and I think it's up to the industry to help people to engage in this quite complex world of fragrance. Come on, Fred. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's an easy way to get Fred. yourself out there to get yourself known. So if any little niche brand is there, yeah. you can see me. That's <laughs> great. I, for me, it's been really, really fun. Caroline. Well, I was going to thank you, all of you, uh, Joe, Felix, Sabine, uh, Kirsty, and Lorna, for giving us such a, a, an informative insight into the world of fragrance. Today was really important because it brought together people who literally have an insight into not just the trends and the ingredients that we're going to be using in fragrances in the next couple of years, but literally the technologies that have the opportunity to change our lives and change the way that we engage with fragrance.